This is a Vigilon Control Center. I'm going to log into sites that I have available on the left hand side. As you look, I'll have a number of different sites that I can select from. I can bring cameras in from these views, right? So I could take our web page, bring that in. I could bring in a PTZ camera, or I could bring in a thermal camera, all from this one site. If I chose, I could take cameras from a different site as well and bring them in. It's very intuitive. Mouse movement works just like you'd expect a Windows device to work to be able to scroll in and move around by right clicking and dragging as well. If the configuration of the scene is not what I really want, I can go ahead and I can change it so that I have way more tiles so that I can bring more cameras and populate that out. If that's not really to my liking because I have a big gap here, I can change what the configuration looks like by editing my layout, removing a bunch of the bars, clicking OK, and it'll dynamically change to, to match my needs, right? Even when I'm on the maps, I can go ahead and see that I have a bunch of different cameras on here and I can click on them and they'll load it into a view for me to use, All right? I have two different modes. I can run in live mode or I can run in recorded mode. Recorded mode will take me directly to my timeline so I can see all of the different recordings that I have for the cameras that I have selected. I can close a couple of different ones out. I could even come in, look through my tree, and add some additional cameras if I chose so that I have more to look at. You'll notice that the timeline dynamically changes and as I move in here I can select this camera and I can zip through my timeline and just by clicking and dragging you'll see that I'm loading images in an incredibly quick manner. Right? There's a lot of different search tools that I have in recorded video if I'd like. I can go directly into what I like to do for a thumbnail search. If I click on here and I'll go to let's say 28 here where this car shows up. Maybe I'd like to know when this car pulled in. I could go ahead, change my region of interest. I can actually move and drag the ears of the of the timeline to just 28 if I'd like. Or I could change the time here. If I click search, what should happen is I'll load a bunch of different thumbnails and you'll notice in, in pretty short order, I have a, a, a slice of time where I know that the car was here somewhere around here. If I double click, it'll load in more. I now know on 28, right around 201, between 201 and 127, the car showed up. Now I'm down to 134 and 127. I can keep drilling down, but I think I know where I'm at. So if I go step in one more time, now I can see that the car's pulling in. I can open this in view. And in just a few clicks, I found when this car pulled into that parking spot on that given time. And I can now take that and maybe I want to create a bookmark for it so that I can save it and I can say silver car, click okay. As I do that, I now have a bookmark. I'd be able to search that against, right? If I go into my bookmarks and I just go silver, there's silver car, takes me into my incident. I now have the ability to go ahead and export that if I wanted to or do any other number of things. Click into export, loads in the export window, there's my event and it'll ask me where I'd like to write it, select that folder, and then it'll start my export for me. That's a quick run through of a Vigilon control center.